Alrighty, so we got a sit down. It's pretty good. It's a bit harsh on this. Basically, I have this exact assignment for my students. And I usually just look at the side view. Basically, I think you have a good timing in terms of going in slow and then speeding up. That's a big part. And then your end drag overlap with a bit of a separation between these two. It's a, it's very subtle. You can probably go a bit stronger. I think my biggest note would be on that impact. But if you go by detail, it's good that you have, if you look at the root here, it goes back with a nice arc. And at the same time, you compensate with the head to keep looking forward. Like I said, we have a bit of a speed change with a plop at the end. But what I would do, and this is maybe like I, I lean that way because of an exercise and not in terms of realism. Whereas like when you hit this and the body goes back, I see a little bit of going forward with that a little bit. But usually what I try to push for the students is as that hits, bam, on that impact, bam, I would have a little bit of compression in the body going down while the head goes up a bit with a bit of a drag, right? So this goes down, this goes up just a bit. It gets very exaggerated in terms of impact down and then back, but it's just there to kind of push the idea of momentum changes between these three, meaning that this goes down, 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 down. And at that point, it can't continue because the chair is there, but the downward momentum on these two is still happening. So, chest goes down next frame chest would still go down you can already go back if you want but there would be a compression and because of the proximity of this this and this this being first this compresses first and this will drag a little bit like i wouldn't do bam impact chest down and head down then it just becomes almost too pose to pose i would have a little bit of separation there where bam next frame the chest leans forward a bit slight drag a little bit of a forward and back and then you go into this and even here i would probably push this a bit more as the body goes back and forward a little bit and this has a bit more drag overlap for separation it's it's definitely more in the realm of let's push mechanics and not really think in terms of realism even then if you don't want to do that i would still have more impact in at least the head you might argue i was going to sit down and immediately go back and you can have compression in the shoulders. Bam, bam, bam. We have a couple of frames. Shoulders go down. You can have a little bit of a tremor in the in the elbows and the head goes down. That might be the more natural way to go and not compress because your compression comes as the body goes back, the lower part, your upper body torso can go and compress a bit. You know what I mean? You can, you can have it that way. But I, if you do that and have less here, down and back, then I would definitely do more in the head. Because if we track that chin going down, down in my horrible points here, bam, look at that. That's a harsh hit here. That's your linear stop. So I would at least have, bam, on this, the chin would be down here. Maybe even, well, not make it, you know, gets too low. But I would have that next frame. You can have this a bit lower. The chin could be down here. Then we can maybe one more time. Again, if you're going back this fast, then you also don't want this kind of look where it's all broken. So it all kind of depends how quickly you go back with this. And you might just rotate out of here with a little bit in the neck, but mostly in the head so that you're going nose here, right? Nose low and then already less. And then we follow back into this. But then you have at least that kind of arc as opposed to this, what's going on right now. And that's mainly that. Because it's a, it's a straightforward or straight backwards <laughs> sit down. So like I wouldn't be concerned about any kind of twisting or anything in here. To me, this is like a straightforward or straight backwards. Uh, sit back and, and impact. There's no, you know, a, a different kind of stance with a rotation. He's looking this way. And as he goes down, you got you got more complexities in the arcs. That's not the case. So to me, I'm not even gonna look really at the front part. And this is kind of for your for your end. And for me, I'm mostly looking at this 
because we're not taking any steps. I do like the little widening of the legs at the end. That's great. And the arms, I think they are doing just enough. Again, you can potentially, if you want to go further, bam on that impact. Those elbows will go in for a little bit of a tremor. Not like a muscle power tremor, but they would have a bit of an impact. Again, as, as this collapses in. And then you might have to change maybe the chair so you don't have any sections. So I don't know if you want to flare out those elbows as it goes back. It's kind of up to you there. But that's kind of that. It's always good to do a sit-down example like this. Yeah, for me, the biggest note is just that harsh impact as we track that chin. Bam, how it just kind of stops here, right? If you just have uh, onion skinning here and you have your invisible, boom, it just hits. Boom. Hits that thing there. Alrighty, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.